everyone. Um, this week's theme is books, which is, you know, in my opinion, makes the world go around besides music, which I have in the background. I'm sorry, I have to have music in the background. If I'm just talking to a camera, I kind of feel awkward, so excuse me. I am also going to take off my glasses because this is annoying glare, like right there. So excuse me. Anyway, books. So I have my books right here, and I will talk about them. One of my favorite childhood series is a series by Lemony Snicket. It's called A Series of Unfortunate Events. I love this series because it it's just, in my opinion, it was really dark for a children's series. And for me, I was always kind of like an emo kid, you know, like meaning like I just liked dark things. I loved horrible endings. So this series is about three orphans. They're called the Bottler Orphans, and they're constantly being harassed and like followed by Count Olaf. They have a series of guardians, and they each guardian always seems to go through a tragedy or they give them away. And unfortunately, their parents died in the fire, and they have this enormous fortune that they're not old enough to inherit. So Count Olaf always wants to be their guardian so that he can, you know, get a hand on their fortune. So, I love the series. It, I noticed that Disney made a movie about it, and it was played by Jim Carrey. I honestly got love Jim Carrey, but he, like, that book was not supposed to be portrayed as funny and fun. It was actually really dark to be a children's book, and I was kind of disappointed when the movie came out, but anyway. Read the book. I don't care how old you are, read it. I still read it to this day. I just happen to have the fifth book. So, yeah. Um, I will move on to poetry now because poetry is always a good thing to have. Um, I have books by Shakespeare, obviously, and Romeo and Juliet and Beth is my two favorite Shakespeare books. Um, I like them because I like the tragic romance kind of thing and how like the time period takes place in and I love the language Shakespeare kind of speaks and for Macbeth I loved portraying this when I was in school and I read it before um, we did a unit of it in school but you know doing the school thing was fun I memorized some of the book and it was just really fun so if you're that person unlike me, who don't have the ability to understand Shakespeare language, I would get a book that translates it and just take your time with it and have fun with it because he has a lot to offer. Um, another book that I have not completed but I was recommended to was The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I was actually recommended this by Fiona. <laughs> Hi Fiona. And I like this book so far. I'm up to page... 25 and I like the way like she I, li I kind of like the way she is right now like she's kind of like I get that kind of lost soul feeling from her and I kind of relate to that you know and it takes place in New York City is the Empire State Building in the back and I appreciate that obviously because I'm from there so this book seems good so far and again it was recommended to me by Fiona and mostly every book that Fiona recommends is good, so remember that. Books by Fiona are good. Um, I hope books for me are good too, but, you know, she's just cool. <laughs> um, another book I'd like to share is Anything But Ordinary by Valerie Hobbs. Um, this book is about two teens. The girl goes to college and the guy is, like, depressed at home and he doesn't graduate on time. But, you know... He follows her to college, and she goes all the way to California from Maryland, I guess, or wherever the hell this takes place. I forgot, sorry, it's been a while. But I like this book, and it's the main reason I bought a green hat, because they had kind of like a green hat club going on. And I thought that was really cute, because, you know, they were kind of like the misunderstood teens in school, and then they're like best friends, and then they fall in love, and blah, blah, blah. And I thought it was really cute, and it wasn't so touchy-touchy feeling, but it was just like... Yeah, like, making a relationship because you're different. I just love that about it. And, you know, I appreciated the struggle that he went through. Like, he kind of followed, followed 
he kind of found himself, you know, in the world. Like, he went to college, started working, and she kind of, like, you know, turned into a different person while she's in college because she's trying to find herself, too. So, I kind of found that relatable because I'm in college and I'm trying to find myself. Well, I guess I kind of did find myself, but I'm trying not to go to the wrong road. I hope I'm not, but so far I seem to be on the right track. And I'm having guy trouble, too, so, you know, just life. Um... Some other books that I do not have, but I will talk about them anyway because they're either at home or I let my neighbor borrow them because she likes reading too. Um, I let her borrow my Lord of the Flies copy. Every educator will tell you that it's important to have read Lord of the Flies because his analogies and his rare white writing is a good, good skill to have and um, kind of good reference for you to be like a writer. I just liked him because he he portrayed the guy boys on the island and it was really dark and it was just an interesting experience. I mean I it was really creative honestly. I would have never thought of that but it was one of those books that everyone reads and they're like oh yeah that book was really something. So Lord of the Flies is a good book to read. Um another book by George Orwell um, is Animal Farm. I like the analogy in that book and I loved how they portrayed the animals as, you know, it was kind of like a government system and I just loved how the book was portrayed and my favorite, favorite, I don't even know what to call it, paragraph, page, whatever, the last page of the book was my favorite because it was the kind of thing that makes you look up from the book when you're done and say, I get it now. But, yeah, that's just me. I get really attached to my books, sorry. So, yeah, that was just kind of my experience when I read Animal Farm. Um, I want people to read books from Pete Hoffman. Pete Hoffman literally has a gift. I read his books, and it was out of like, sheer boredom. I just picked it up. Um, I read his books Invisible, Mr. Was, and How to Steal a Car, and Godless. Mr. Was is one of my favorite books and Invisible because Invisible is kind of like your reality is not actuality and Mr. Was is about time travel and it was just like, it was kind of like Inception, you know? Um, Godless was a good book and won an award and How to Steal Car was basically Teenage Rebellion and it was just fun. So I recommend books by Pete Hoffman immediately. I, I, I wish I had them, I don't own them in any way, but I will buy them once I get my student refund check because buying books for mo with money is always a good feeling. Um, another author that I think people should read is V.C. Andrews. V.C. Andrews wrote a ton of books in her lifetime. She is one of the greatest authors in my opinion. My librarian became a librarian because she wanted to uh, recommend books like the ones we see Andrew wrote to people. So I thought that was really important. V.C. Andrew, the, the main specific series I'm talking about from V.C. Andrews is the Flowers in the Attic series. I loved that series. I loved it. And it was about four children locked in the attic for four years. And they kind of, they grew up um, together. It was two, like, teenagers and two twins. They were all, uh, they're all related. Their family, and the only ones that knew about this was their grandmother and mom. So I thought this was really interesting, and in what they go through, and growing up around religious beliefs and being kept in captivity, it was just really amazing and intense. So I really recommend that book and the rest of the books in the Flowers in the Attic series. Um, another book that I will talk about is Twilight, mainly because I know what it calls conflict on the internet which I love. So I bought this cup yesterday from this store. I'm not sure what it's called. I just came up here for college, but I love Twilight. I appreciate it. I loved what it did to my, you know, pre-teenhood, whatever. I loved the experience in reading it. I've read it a thousand times. I'm not even gonna pretend I didn't. I'm not gonna say I hate Twilight because those movies are so stupid. I mean, it's not stupid. She portrayed how she wanted to portray her love story. And, meaning Stephanie Meyer, she did a really good job in 
making it believable, I mean. I mean, she's not trying to portray it like normal vampires. I mean, there's such thing called individualism. She's portraying the vampires how she wanted to, and I think she did a wonderful job. I, She was able to sell millions of copies, and the movie sold out, so that was a major hit right there. I would recommend the books first, mainly so you can appreciate the movies, but the books will seriously live with you. And, you know, it gave me good memories, and it gave me things like I read it sometimes I didn't bring the Twilight books with me because I only had so many books I have plenty of books over there but you know Twilight is the series Twilight New Moon Eclipse Breaking Dawn I loved all of them my favorite in particular was New Moon for a reason I don't really understand but that's a book I always go back on and if I want a little action I go to Eclipse but you know it's drama romance action all in one. So I think everyone should appreciate Flowers in the Attic. I mean, wow, Twilight, the Twilight series. Sorry. Oh god, sorry. Well, Flowers in the Attic too has all those things, con contributions, but um I was talking about Twilight, sorry. <laughs> so I can go on for days talking about, you know, books and for time reasons I will stop because I'm already getting ahead of myself. I mentioned too many books and I hope you guys take with you what I've given you. If you want to recommend books to me, then I would totally appreciate that. And, you know, leave a comment, um, subscribe, like, uh, you know, anything. Try to get into contact with me and the channel. And I hope that you guys appreciate the books I've mentioned. And stay tuned for next week. Thanks, guys.